The Mars Orbiter mission, also called Mangalyaan is a spacecraft launched on November 5, 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization. It carries five instruments that will help advance knowledge about Mars. The Mars Orbiter Mission Probe lifted off using a Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, rocket. The probe spent about a month in Earth orbit, where it made a series of seven apogee-raising orbital maneuvers before Trans-Mars injection on November 30, 2013. After a 300-day transit to Mars, it was successfully inserted into Mars orbit on 24 September 24, 2014. It is India's first interplanetary mission and ISRO has become the fourth space agency to reach Mars, after the Russian space program, NASA, and the European Space Agency. It is also the first nation to reach Mars orbit on the very first attempt, and the first Asian nation to do so. In 1947, on getting independence, the young nation decided to follow the democratic and secular path giving high importance to science and technology. India's space program was launched in the early 1960s and the country developed its own rocket technology after Western powers imposed sanctions. India's first satellite Arya Bhatta was launched from the Russian facility at Baikonur in 1975. After this followed a series of improvements in rocket technology and development of new satellites. Dr. Vikram Sarabhari is considered the father of Indian space program. As he said in 1969, it was not a question whether a developing country such as India could afford to go in for space technology, but whether it could afford not to. The total cost of the mission was approximately 73 million US dollars making it the least expensive Mars mission to date. The low cost of the mission was ascribed to various factors, including indigenous built components and technologies prioritized over expensive foreign imports, using a modular approach, a small number of ground tests, and using launch opportunities for a fuel-saving Hoffman transfer orbit which occur every 26 months. India has been careful to do things simple. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi even quipped that India's real-life Martian adventure was costing less than the make-believe Hollywood film Gravity. History has been created today. We have dared to reach out into the unknown and have achieved the near impossible. Just as quickly as the rocket sped off, the some mainstream media outlets criticized India for launching rocket to Mars mission amidst overwhelming poverty or why poor countries need space programs. Go on the bottom of your screens, eight and a half hours from now, so about 5 p.m. here in Hong Kong. And it, it looks as if they, they will go ahead with this launch yet, but still that hasn't stopped critics of India's space program saying that the money could actually be better spent for more pressing problems on the ground. Keep in mind, of course, two-thirds of the population actually live on less than, or survive on less than two U.S. dollars a day. Some consider these comments as outright racism clothed in a patronizing tone. Their contention that the money would be better spent on health care and improved sanitation had a form of racial undertone. According to ISRO scientists, space technology and activity is also a wealth generator. Despite all of the negative comments and criticisms about the space program, ISRO has helped the common population immensely in various fields such as weather information, agricultural farming sector, telemedicine, tele-education, mineralogy, and defense sector.
The mission is a technology demonstrator project to develop the technologies for design, planning, management, and operations of an interplanetary mission. The primary objective of the Mars Orbiter mission is to showcase India's rocket launch systems, spacecraft building and operations capabilities. Specifically, the objective is to develop the technologies required for design, planning, management and operations of an interplanetary mission, comprising the major tasks such as design and realization of a Mars orbiter with a capability to perform Earth-bound maneuvers, cruise phase of 300 days, Mars orbit insertion capture, and on-orbit phase around Mars, deep space communication, navigation, mission planning and management and incorporate autonomous features to handle contingency situations. The secondary objective is to explore Mars surface features, morphology, mineralogy and Martian atmosphere using indigenous scientific instruments. The Mars mission spacecraft is currently being monitored from the Spacecraft Control Center at ISRO Telemetry, Tracking and Command Network in Bangalore with support from Indian Deep Space Network IDSN, antenna. ISRO plans to send a follow-up mission with a greater scientific payload to Mars between 2018 and 2020. This mission will likely consist of a lander and rover, rather than being orbiter only, 